So here we can see that I've just pairing my watch and all the data from my watch have been downloaded to the app. The watch has 30 days of uh, memories and here it's showing the my tracking activities. So, to, so far today I've walked 2,729 steps and for a distance of Two, uh, two kilometers upon 22. And I can also really see by times. Oh. So this is for my, and that's my activity of yesterday. So then this is the tracking activities. And right now I've done 27% of my targets. But my targets, I can easily change it. My goals, here my objective is to do 10,000 steps a day but if maybe I'm a bit lazy and I want to do 5,000 steps a day and now for the sleep instead of six hours I would like to do nine hours because I'm getting old so I really have to rest so now as you can see all the information I've just changed have been sent to my watch and now you have seen the hands it's moving by by itself so now I can have another different activities because I've changed my daily uh, objective mm -hmm. I've done already 50 55% of my activities and regarding my nights I can have more information also about my nights but that was my night as you can see I haven't slept too much 4 hours and 35 that's what we call the jet lag, yeah, jet lag. <laughs> It took me 35 minutes to fall asleep and I slept 1 hour 41 in a deep sleep as you can see in a dark blue and I slept two, almost 3 hours in a light sleep. Uh -huh. So now imagine I'm traveling or I am in a meeting and I don't have my phone or let's say I am on, on a weekend with my girlfriend and I can't take my phone because it's a weekend with my girlfriend and not with my phone, nor with my, with, my, with my work. I can follow all the different data directly via my watch. So here you can see that with the silver hands, I've done 55% of my objective. Now if I push twice the crown, it will show me the percentage of my night. So the blue hands is on the night and then it will tell me the percentage of my nights. So here you can easily see I've done 90% of my objective. So when I will now, tonight I will go to my bed. I have two ways to put my watch into a uh, sleeping mode. I just press the crown three seconds. And now the watch understand that this is the sleeping mode. So every movement that I will do during my night, then the watch will be able to adapt it and to understand it. When I will wake up, I just take my watch and I put it, and as you can see here also, the, you, you, you can see the moon. It's on the moon, on the um, sleep mode. When I wake up, I just press three seconds and it's back on the tracking activities. And you can see here as well, you are on the tracking activities. <coughs> now, if I want to adjust my watch, like the sleeping mode, I don't have to uh, press the crown. I can also, I can do it directly with my phone. I will activate the sleep mode and you will see that the hands will move automatically. So is it communicating right now through uh, Bluetooth? Bluetooth, exactly. Was it difficult to try and put a transmitter or receiver in the watch, uh, Bluetooth, with everything else that... Uh, that has been one of the complications to do, but uh, uh, luckily us, we've got uh, good watchmakers and uh, we have good uh, people working on all this technology mm -hmm. and we have been able to find a way, but this is, yeah, this is really part of the, of the innovation, mm -hmm. definitely. So I can also, as I also said, uh, record for a power nap. Mm -hmm. So and I can also uh, make a, a lot of uh, so the, the the SIP cycle alarm. Mm -hmm. 
this is another uh, function. If every morning you, you wake up at, let's say, 6.30, okay? I can, I can say to my watch, I, I give a Windows up to 20 minutes. So I, let's say even 7.30 because my previous night was so-so, okay? So I can just, oh. and I can give a Windows of 10 minutes, to even one hour if I want. The windows will give me the opportunity to be wake up mm -hmm. when I will be on a light sleep and not on a deep sleep. Mm -hmm. Because it's not healthy to be wake up when you are on a deep sleep. Mm -hmm. For all the day, then you will, f you will not feel good. So the watch will know exactly when is the best moment to beep and to wake you up. Mm -hmm. is, and is the watch measuring it through sensors? In your exactly. Sleep? Okay. So that's the reason why with all the sensors and also the movement that you are doing when you are on a uh, light sip or on a deep sip. Mm -hmm. So this is another function that the, the watch is doing. So uh, not, we can see the watch really clearly here. Um, and again, the luxury thing comes through very clearly. Can you tell us a bit about the material around the dial and here uh, and the leather strap? I mean, is this uh, gold? So. We have uh, we introduced five uh, five models. This is the uh, gold plate, rose gold plated case, mm -hmm. with a white uh, with a silver dial and a brown uh, leather strap. Uh -huh. And the numbers are also so all the uh, indexes and uh, Roman numerals. They are all uh, rose gold uh, plated indexes as well. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, all the different features are really the same as the one we are using in our uh, in all our collection. Mm -hmm. So you can see, I mean, in terms of details, Frédéric Constant, we really pay for details. Mm -hmm. We really want to give something else to the customer because we want to make sure that they feel that they are wearing uh, very uh, luxurious watches. Mm -hmm. So we do like the other luxurious brand. Mm -hmm. So paying for details, also the cases, round cases, hand polished. Mm -hmm. So you can, and uh, it's applied indexes and not printed indexes. Uh, or printing dial like uh, many other brands can do. And the watches, is, is it 100% manufactured in Geneva or is it also in combination some parts here, some parts in Silicon Valley? No, no, it's, uh, I mean, we, we get the technology from uh, the Silicon Valley. We've got all the schematic, the firmware, but uh, the, then the, all the, the, movement, the, the, the movement is produced in Geneva. Uh, in our own manufacturer, mm -hmm. in uh, Frédéric Constant manufacturer. Okay, and the last question I guess we're going to ask is uh, what's the current price in India for this? Do you have you announced it yet? So, yeah, we're going to start with the silver, uh, silver, um, silver case, the stainless steel case, retail 70,000 rupees, mm -hmm. and for the rose gold plated case, uh, 80,000 uh, rupee. What are the, some of the best reasons to, instead of trying to get a really bad smartwatch, getting maybe this watch? What would you say are the best reasons? So one of the reasons is the quality because it's a Swiss made watch. Mm -hmm. So basically why you want to buy a Swiss made watch when you can buy a Chinese watch because you care about the quality, about the prestige and about your image. Mm -hmm. So that's the first. And uh, secondly, because it's a really nice, beautiful watch that looks like very classic. And if you don't want to have all the connectivity, you can only wear it because it looks like a very classic watch. Mm -hmm. So compared to the other smartwatch, this is it. You will have a very classical watch with a good quality uh, and you will be able to, to wear a very uh, well-known and established brand now in India.